and if you guys are new here, my name is Christine. I'm living in Switzerland. I've been here for 18 years. Um, I want to say really quick, hi, mom. Hi to my mom. She's watching. Um, all my Texas people are watching. I've got tons of Texas folk watching um, over on YouTube. So, and on here on Haps. Um, my mom's my mom's always curious. Hey, Bernie, Dole. Hello. Hello, Dole. How you doing? How's it going? How's Australia? Um, my mom's like, what is Haps? Haps is like a, an app that um i broadcast on like from paris or not on periscope but um and then it goes over to twitter you guys can follow me on twitter sometimes i post like pictures a little background Kimberly, hello you guys follow me on twitter um and i'm also i'm, I'm it's live streaming also to youtube so my mom might be watching she always watches the replay so everyone say hello to my mom hi mom hey Kimberly, how's it going Bedtime for me, just saying hi, good day. Well, thanks for stopping in. I hope you're having a having a nice pinky dreams. Um, I hope you guys are, I guess you guys are going into winter in in Australia, right? Mm. We're getting summer now. It is a gorgeous day. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. The hottest, one part of the hottest time of the day. I'm very well, Kimberly, thank you. Uh, it's freezing. Well, Dolly, here it's like uh, really warm. Um, my daughter, she went with the neighbors. They went to a park. It's got like this big water slide. And my husband is out looking at pork shoulders because he's making pulled pork sandwiches next week. Yum. Seven degrees. Good Lord. I guess that's Celsius. Is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? I imagine it's Celsius. If it was Fahrenheit, I would be worried. You might be, I'm saying if you were in Siberia. Okay, so seven degrees Celsius. Okay, yeah. That's pretty chilly. That's pretty cold. So anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. Welcome to my kitchen. It's Friday. I missed you last Friday. I'm terribly sorry. Um, but I had a date with a very sexy man. Uh, we had a spontaneous babysitter. She went and stayed the night at a friend's house. And so we had dinner on the balcony. I posted some food food selfies on on um, Twitter. So yeah. Anyway, it's Friday. You guys are never been here. Thanks for joining, by the way. Thanks for like. Okay, can I just ask you guys like to react? Um, I'll react. You know that there's like a little like button. There's a thumbs up or a heart. Are you guys in the replay? Um, I always forget. I forget to do that sometimes when I'm watching videos. But if you guys would just like just like push on thumbs up or a heart or something, I would. Just grandly appreciate it, really, truly. Um, yeah, it was fun, Kimberly. We had, what did we have? We had um, shrimp carpa carpaccio. It's like uh, carpaccio is, um, oh, someone. Okay, no, okay, good. I, now, the phone rings from my neighbor. I have to take it because my daughter, he's there. She's with um, all the kids. Um, carpaccio, you have like beef carpaccio. Carpaccio is like when it's really thinly sliced meat. Um, it's not cooked, it's raw, but they cook it with with lemon juice. So um, you just like put a lot of lemon juice on it and the citrus, the citric acid actually cooks the meat. Um, but it's very thinly, thinly sliced. So we had really thin, thin, thin sliced shrimp. It was like, it was like butterfly and with a nice citrus lime dressing. It was, oh, it was just so good. Um, and then we had uh, pasta with chilies. Like we had chilies. Like we had just chili, chili, chili. Everything spicy because we never normally get to eat spicy when my daughter's here. Um, well, she's here all the time, you know. So um, of course she lives with us. But uh, and it was like we never get to eat spicy. So we were like, okay, what's like? How can we eat chili with every meal, with every um, uh, course? So we had um, a little bit of bow tie pasta with some parmesan and chilies. And then we had steak. It was so good with green beans. It was fabulous. It's fabulous. Anyway, so Farmer Box Friday, I will stop <sighs> going down memory lane a week ago when I had a date. Oh. Let's talk vegetables. So Friday, every Friday we get a delivery of um, fresh fruit and vegetables from a co-op of farmers so that means i don't know how many farmers are in this group it changes all the time because some you know sometimes farmers have more of something than others i don't know exactly what it, how it works behind the closed doors but we get a delivery every week 
um, from local produce, also some stuff from Spain, Italy, and sometimes France. Debbie, hey Deb, good morning. How are you doing? Hello, sweetie. Are you ready to talk vegetables? See, I can be loud. I'm very loud. I'm not with my glasses on, so I might be going like this. If I cannot read your comments, I'm sorry. My glasses are missing again. I gotta find them. But anyway, we get a delivery. We get two crates a week uh, on Fridays. Good. Just got in from food shopping. What'd you get? Did you get something good? Did you get something fun for the weekend? So um, we get this every Friday. I was so happy today. I Honestly, I have to be honest, I had to dig in it this morning because I made beef vegetable stew for lunch. And we had no onion. We had like one onion and some shallots from, our, from a long time ago. But we're still good. And I, I was like literally looking at the last little little pieces of garlic that were left. So, I mean, like, yeah, I had to dig in some vegetables. We got some broccoli and stuff out there today. People are not wearing masks anymore. Really? I heard that like the U.S., like there's no more COVID. Here we have every, I mean, everyone still um, is required here. So, you had yours on. I don't know how this become political, but here in Switzerland and throughout Europe, it's just mandatory. So um, it's nationwide. Uh, hey, DJ. Hey, okay, I would say, DJ, you in Australia. I was rocking out for like a long time to your music. I was like, okay, I need to say hi. I was cleaning my kitchen. I clean, look, I cleaned the kitchen for you guys. Hey, Miss Zen, rocking the food box. Hey, I thanks you rock too. I was you. I, I really like your playlist. I was listening to it for quite a while, and I was like, oh, okay, I gotta get on. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's start now. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing out on Twitter or wherever you guys share out. Um, say hi to my mom. Hi, mom. She's listening. Uh, if you had your vaccine, you don't have to wear it. Okay. I had my vaccine, but I'm still wearing it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think here, um, I, I think it's still, yeah, it's just everybody wears a mask. Um, not everyone's got vaccinated yet. It's still not everyone is not available to everybody yet. So they're doing it like, kind of like when you board the plane, you know, you got different classes. So, I mean, class, like, they look at age, risk group, stuff like that. So they're, they're still working through those people, I think. Um, okay, so we're going to talk. Farm Box Friday, we get this delivery, we're going to go through them. I just know a little bit of what, what's in here because I had to dig in it already. Um, and then we'll talk about like, I like like we exchange ideas. Like you guys have, you might, it might be a vegetable or fruit you've never seen before. Or it might be something you've seen in the grocery store, but you've been like, hmm, I don't know what to do with that. And maybe this could inspire you to integrate more greens in your diet. Still rocking the den now. Just pop in and say hi. Well, thank you so much, DJ. Thanks for popping in. Yep. You're still rocking the den. Your den is rocking. You can look like a you like a full DJ setup in your house. You feel like a full bar. Is it like a bar? I bet your neighbors. I bet you've got some great parties at your house. I can imagine. Um, yeah, yeah. You hear me, Ben? Okay, so let's start. Now we always start with the greens. Okay, we literally had no vegetables left from last week. Hell yeah! I bet so. I bet you, Jay. Okay, this week is a little different. Normally we get like these, um, okay, I'm not disappointed, but it's a bit, it's a bit different. You guys, you guys have seen any of the, um, old, the older, um, from Box Friday, it's usually just like the salad, so the big as my head. Here we got an iceberg salad. It's been a while since we've had iceberg salad. Mom, okay, I'm just, okay, let me just talk to my mom real quick. And I want to see a raise of hands, show of hands if you guys did this too. Mom. I still remember, every time I see iceberg lettuce, I think of your salad wedges. Did you guys do this? I'm listening for the neighbors yet. Yeah, they shouldn't be home for another 45 minutes. But um, Mom, do you remember this, the Miracle Whip salad wedges? Did you guys do this? She would take a head of um, iceberg lettuce, and she would cut it in half and cut it in quarters, and then take the whole slice of lettuce and smear Miracle Whip on it. Did anyone else do that? Mom, I, I, every time I see, and I just say, well, Mom's watching. Um, I, she can't comment. She, she's not, she can't comment, but she's watching on, on another channel. Um, do you, did anyone else do that? The Miracle Whip salad wedges? I like that idea, though. Um, let's all wake up. The neighbors, I bet uh, your neighbors must love you. <laughs> love you or hate you. Which one is it? 
Um, I bet, I bet, I bet Moses love you. I think so. I kind of like this idea of like cutting them up. Like she would like literally like cut it in half. Did, it, did anyone else do that? Or are we the only ones, mom? Are we the only ones on the planet who did this? You guys also in the replay, you can even comment too if you guys did this or let me know. So she would like take the whole head. She would cut off the ends. Um, and I'll show you in a second with the next salad. But she would half it, the whole thing, bloop, cut it again, bloop. And then she would like, uh, maybe like just big chunks. She would do it in wedges. I love wedge salad, but never use mayo. Ah, Kristen, thank you. Hey, Texas Snow Bunny, welcome. Okay, you did the wedge salad too. So what did, would you just use regular salad dressing? That's what I'm thinking. I just got this idea. Because I, I mean, we don't, I mean, you know, this is a good lettuce. It's got good lots of water in it. Hey, Texas Snow Bunny. So I'm crushing Texas Snow Bunny. Are you in Texas and you love to ski? Or are you now in a in a state where you ski, but you're originally from Texas? Because I know I've got lots of Texas. i got lots of Texas people. I know Texas is a beautiful place. I love Texas. Um, but, okay, yeah, so you, they would do a wedge salad. I think homemade buttermilk ranch with bacon bits. Girlfriend, why didn't you show it? You share it with the class, please. That sounds, that sounds fabulous. That sounds like a very good idea. I know you're on the fence about broadcasting. I think, right? You should do that. So wedge salad. That's a great idea. I like that idea. Um, I might even use that. That's a good idea. So that's our first one. Okay. Then we get another. These are little bitty ones. With me. Then we get this really cute one. It's a, just a green salad. Oh. Now, okay, guys. Um, you're in Texas. Love snow and bunnies. We'll see. All right. Then I thought it was close. I was close. Okay, guys, now this is a farming show, right? So you know the, 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 you do have, okay, this is fresh. I don't know if I can show you. It has a little dead insect on it. We know that it's fresh, right? Always wash your fruits and vegetables, and this is why, children at home, a little, a little, a little dead, a little dead guy over there. So he must, he had a final meal. We will wash that salad very well. But this is just a green salad. Um, okay, here's, I always like to give you guys, um, talk about salad. If you have the opportunity to go to a farmer's market, do that, all right? Um, everyone has access to different food. I know that. Everyone in different parts of the U.S. and parts of the world and everywhere. But if you're at a farmer's market, pick up your salad, if it's, if it's possible now. Um, maybe they have gloves. I don't know. Now with the the virus going around, but, um, okay, you see how the leaves are still very firm, okay, okay, this, this one's falling down a little bit, but that's really no big deal, it's just because it's broken, the spine is broken out here, but you see how it's still very, very compact, that's a good sign, that's sign number one, that it's fresh, all right, sign number two, you're going to take it and flip it over, all right, and you're going to look at the, see, okay, you see how that's, okay, good, that's water from the, from the hey Chris hey see I see you now <laughs> I was you're like long time no see I haven't seen you in ages I haven't seen you in ages um but this is how you know it's a fresh salad you want to look at the, at the spines here at the stem so this is freshly cut all right here I am here you are now this is fresh okay um it is brown but that's that's just browning from the from the air okay it's no big deal but here's the thing okay, I don't know if you can get this I hope my you see, you can see how that is still very spongy. It's not dried out. There's still a lot of liquid in there. There's still a lot of water because this has a lot of water content. So that's why I know it's fresh, all right? And you want to look at the spines. You see the spines are nice and green. They're nice and, or they're nice, they're, there's no, there's no rest on it. Um, this one is starting a little tiny bit, but that probably happened while it was still uh, not harvested yet, okay? So look at the spine. Now sometimes, often, or if it's in your refrigerator and you don't know if it's still good, look at the spine, okay? And if, it, if, it, if this is brown and like kind of, uh, take that one off, and the next one under it should be good. All right, see, I, I don't want to tear up our salad. I'm going to go ahead and tear this one off, though. So I'm gonna, we're going to eat this tonight, don't worry. But the next, see, it's, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. You see that? There's nothing wrong with it, okay? 
but that's the first indication of how fresh your salad is, okay? Because this is where it starts to decompose or start to rot, all right? Uh, or, or go bad, I guess that's what you would say. So look at the spine of it, all right? Now, if there's if some of these are bad, you take them off. If, if, but if it's like four or five leaves deep, um, brown, and, you've, you know, and you're at the store, of course, you know, you're not going to be wanting to rip off leaves at the store. But um, I, I'd keep walking. Just, you know, you can still, but if, if the outside of the leaves are good, if, it, if it's in your refrigerator, sorry, this is my long explanation. <laughs> if this is in your refrigerator and the leaves on the outside are still good, eat it. Okay, I'm not saying throw it away. But if you haven't bought it yet and you're still, you're wanting, you want to see if it's fresh, look here. Does that make sense? I'm not saying if it has one brown one, throw it away. Absolutely not. And you don't want to eat the brown part. But sometimes it's brown here and here it's like nice and crispy green. So we'd really try to avoid food waste. But I'm not saying eat rotten food, okay? That's not what I'm saying. Don't write your congressman. I'm going to put this back where it, where it goes, where it came from. And that's our salad. That's a little one. If you guys, and I say little because normally they're like giants. But that's all right. We're still happy. There's a, a rogue leaf there. So um, I made this Swiss sausage salad a few weeks ago for the, what was it, salad Saturday. This would have been perfect. You can, like, just throw, um, hey, Jane, welcome, welcome. You can um, throw, like, a chicken salad, tuna salad, egg salad, make a wrap. I know it sounds, like, ridiculously healthy, but it is, and it's really good. So that's just an idea. That that rogue leaf with giving some inspiration. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now we have. Oh, we've been getting this a lot. We've been getting a lot. We always get like some kind of. Can you guys see? Let me move you down a little bit. There you go. Okay. So we got some. Uh, rocket or rucola. Actually, this is rucola in Swiss German. In German, I don't know what this is. I think it's rocket. You call it in English. This is a salad green as well. I'm gonna mix this. Probably what I'm going to do now. Let me show you the movie down here. You love arugula. It's so good, right? Here I have three different salads here. I've got iceberg, green salad, and arugula. I think you call it, right? In English. Um, it's either arugula or I think rocket is straight, isn't it? But this one is a little bit spicy. Let me come down here to you guys. This one's a little bit spicy, a little bit peppery and bitter. So, alone... By itself, I mean, it's, it's, it's peppery, it's spicy. Yeah, that's wild arugula. It is. Okay. Oh, is that what you guys get there? Oh, this is a mix, actually. Okay, because this is what they call also um, the um, deer antlers. This is a different one. Oh, this is spring mix, maybe. Let me look at the other Um, No, it's arugula. That's also arugula. Okay. So um, anyway, what they do is, or what you can do is you can mix. I, I, I will mix all of these. So um, like tonight for dinner, we're going to have a salad. I'll, I'll cut a chunk off of the iceberg, a chunk off of this, and, and grab a handful of this and wash it and mix it together. So that's what I'm going to do. And Mr. Zen is home. Hello, honey buddy. Did you, did you get a pork shoulder? Yeah. Oh. Do you like to show the, the class? <laughs> um, the rest of the world. Yeah, there's like 5,000 people watching. <laughs> Don't get nervous. Don't get camera shy. Um, yeah, like I said, because by itself, it's really it's, it's a little bit sharp for me. Or you could counteract it. Yeah, Debbie. I know, he's camera shy. Or you could counteract it. Let's do a little salad fantasy here. Um, with just... Five thousand. I don't. What? It could. I could be. I could dream. I mean, I'm not TED Talk famous yet. Hey, Natasha, welcome. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. Oh, it's only thirty-seven. I thought it was three thousand seven hundred. Oh, someone's making a guest appearance. The Phantom Arm. Okay. Anyway, back to my salad fantasy. Okay, so this pure, this arugula, or um, <laughs> he's like, what have I walked into? You get your Misfits box on tomorrow. Yay! Yay, Natasha. Yeah, you guys, that, that's another option. Try the Misfits. N Natasha, how happy are you? We should, you know, we should do a, we should do a, I'm, a, I'm not we, I'm not, I want to like jump in on your parade, but you should, you should broadcast that. I really want to see what it looks like. Um, okay, so 
We've got a bitter salad. Top it with a sweet balsamic vinegar with a little bit of olive oil, salt. Ooh, tofu. You got tofu? Oh, whoa. Okay. Hey, John. Welcome. Hey, what's up? Um, okay, so sweet. This needs something sweet, like a sweet citrus, sweet orange dressing, sweet balsamic. And then you top it with some shaved Parmesan cheese, maybe some sautéed mushrooms, some bacon bits. <gasps> wow, that looks good. Two kilos, point nine five oh. So almost, yeah. almost three kilos. Two hundred grams per person. Two hundred gram, two hundred grams per person. Well, we have some vegetarians coming too. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 a Swiss. You got you guys just saw a little window into Swiss cooking. When you have some guests over, they always calculate how many grams of meat per person. Mom, you're watching, or everyone, you guys. Um, Natasha, let's do a collab. I'm in. Sorry, not to get back to that. Hey, Mr. Hubby, I'll talk. He went upstairs. I'm going to go put the pork shoulder in the refrigerator. But they always calculate like how many people are coming and how many grams of meat per person. My mom would be like, she would just take half a cow and throw it on the grill where we would have leftovers for a year. Anyway, okay, that's my salad fantasy. We're done with that. Okay, that's our arugula. How are you guys doing? You guys all right? Mmm. Now, oh, looky here. We got some tomatoes. And some leaves, debris. You know it's from the farm. It's covered in. Are you doing fine, Debbie? That's good. You have a good day at the shopping? Oh, I love this. I love the smell of vine tomatoes. Now, these vine ripe tomatoes. So these are still in a greenhouse. These are not, you can tell, they're very hard. Um, I like these. It was good. It's probably good to get out, too. Um, vine ripe tomatoes. Better now after seeing you. Oh, I don't know if you're flirting with me. I know you're not. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, anyway, so, and we've got some peaches. Yay, peaches, peaches, peaches. we got some peaches. They're still hard. These are from probably Spain. Let me see. They are from Italy. Okay. Italy. Yummy. Yes. They're still hard. They're gonna they're gonna soften up though. The ones the ones from last week, oh man, they were so good. But not not quite. In the deep summer, we get peaches from France. Oh good lord, they're good. They're really good. This one smells nice. Do you guys ever smell your fruit in the grocery store? I do. I'm not I'm that person. Okay. Oh, that's some apricots too. Now, apricots. Here's a little thing about Switzerland. Um, Wallis or Wallace, you would call it, is a region in Switzerland that's very, very famous for their apricots. Um, it's just got the perfect um, ground, the perfect uh, floor. What do you call it? The perfect earth. Huh? Go Wallis. Wallis for, mm -hmm. for apricots. Why is it so good in Wallis? The sun. We don't have much sun here where we are. Oh, we do, we get it, but. Huh? They have more sun than here? Anyway, we got some apricots. I'm not because I like the same as you. I know, John, it's okay. It's good, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, happy Pride Month, by the way. Um, yeah, so we got some nice apricots. This is like one of those emojis that would get you banned, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you get a snack? Mm -hmm. oh, got a snack. Yeah. I'm doing my show. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I get distracted. Yeah, I see snacks and it looks good. Okay, so apricots, we just eat them. Um, although, this summer we'll probably make lots of apricot tarts. Mr. Zen does that. He's the baker. Okay, that's our first cart down. First cart. First crate. Hold on. Okay. Now, now we're getting to the fruits. Hey, Cookie! Hi, welcome! Welcome to Switzerland! So, we are, you guys can't see very well, can you? This is what we've we covered so far. Alright. Bananas. Bananas. Now, of course, these are not Swiss bananas. Um, 
We don't have bananas here. Although we do have, we do have um, kiwi. Did you know that? We have kiwi here. Um, bananas are from Dominican Republic. So bananas, these are not ripe yet. So they need to, oh, speaking of ripe bananas, hold on. I need to do something real quick. Hey, thanks, Chris. I'm on my own. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So here's a little trick. I, I have to do it now or I'll forget. Okay, these are actually the perfect banana. This is the perfect ripeness. Chris, I'll take you. I gotta call you and say thank you. I even give you a banana heart. Thank you for the award. See your banana. Is that a banana heart? Yeah, I'm sorry. I tried it. It doesn't feel natural. I'm work. I'm still working on what I do when people give me awards. I'm still working on it. This is a perfect ripe banana, though. Perfect ripeness. Don't throw these away. These are perfect. But what's happening is you see it's starting to open and then the fruit flies are going to come in. Because we're not going to eat four bananas today. And I need some in the freezer. So what you do is you take them now and put them in the freezer for like smoothies or banana ice cream. That nice cream you guys see all the like Alexis and Karen making all the time and all the vegan. It's really delicious. Let me just tell you that. And it's really good. Banana bread or banana bread, Kristen. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. I could totally make banana bread. Um, I'm just not going to make banana bread. Everyone's saying make banana bread. Well, I would see like they're falling off. They're falling off. Look at that. See, they're, it's the perfect ripeness. They're ready, but I'm not ready to make banana bread. So I'm going to go ahead and just put them in the freezer and use them for smoothies. Sorry. Although I would love to in my Martha Stewart fantasy, I would totally make some. Well, yeah, dude. Come on, Martha Stewart. She would totally make banana bread. And she'd say, it's a good thing. Do you guys, do you guys know Martha Stewart, right? She was my first, now my first real cook, um, although she's more like a lifestyle queen, but um, my first one was Julia Child. When I was a little girl, I used to watch her cooking shows. I didn't cook. My mom certainly didn't. I love you, mom. <laughs> my mom's watching. You certainly didn't cook. Like Julia Child, but I remember watching her all the time. But Martha Stewart, yeah, she would make banana bread with us. And I would too in a perfect world, but I just can't this week. So I'm going to put them in a the, in the Ziploc bag. And normally I have one, honestly, um, that I, when it's empty, I put it back in the freezer and just wash it. And I know that's all, but I don't like to use a lot of plastic bags. But I did throw away the last one. So you can do that. You can totally wa wash out your Ziploc bags. My uncle used to do that with, um, my mom's watching, so she's going to remember. My uncle used to do this with um, with styrofoam meat trays. He would wash them and reuse them. Now, I know of a lot of people who would actually probably do that because there's zero waste or low waste people, but back then he was, he was, he was way before his time. So I'm going to put these in the freezer. All right, so that's done. That is done. Okay, good. So we got our bananas. We have a few more things in our crate. We're just now in our second, oh, sorry, banana peel. In our second thing. All right, so we have, okay, we have one lonely broccoli. We had two, but I used the other one in the stew. We made vegetable beef stew today. So I did dig around and grab, we didn't have, we had no vegetables. We had literally one carrot and half an onion and some shallots and like a couple of sad little pieces of garlic. And that was it. Um, so we got some broccoli. So the other broccoli went in the stew in the pot right behind you. I got, I can show you guys after if you like. And uh, you guys are so quiet. You're just so quiet. Hey, hello. Okay, we got some peppers. These are big old peppers, um, red peppers. So those are, those are big ones. Hello. <laughs> See, this is fun. I think this make a great picture. What do you think? Can you screenshot? Um, peppers, they're great. I like 
does anyone do um does anyone ever do stuffed peppers i think we should try that i've never i've made it maybe years a hundred years ago but i don't remember doing this actually so you're gonna make some stuffed peppers with these what would you guys stuff them with though feta cheese feta yes kristen the texas nobody says yes um feta what what, what else would you put in there kristen i think maybe some ground beef with pork, feta cheese, what do you think? Stuffed peppers? Stir fry? Yeah, yeah, you put him in stir fry. He's, he loves stir fry, he loves doing stir fry. Um, oh, okay, John was saying hi to Mama, Mrs. Zen, Zen Mama. She's watching, hello. My mom's watching too. Um, I'd mix some, some rice in it too. Mr. Zen says he'd put them in stir fry because he we eat stir fry about once a week at least, um, which is good. <laughs> we appreciate it. You do a beef rice mixture and top it with cheese. Oh, that sounds gorgeous. Bye. Have a good ride. I think that's a good. Um, I think it's a good idea. You do a beef rice mix also. I think that's a great idea. You need the water? The water is right there. I think it should be a clean one. Um, he's going for a bike ride. Is, is there one up there? Okay. Stuffed peppers. Hey! Hey, Mustafa! Welcome! Hi! Yeah, I think I think we're going to do that. Some stuffed peppers. We're going to do that this week. We're going to do that. That's going to be on my list. So, I don't normally do menu planning. Do you guys do this? Um, I think we need to start doing it because I feel like you add red sauce to my mix. I was thinking that. I was thinking like tomato sauce, maybe. Hey, Mustafa, good to see you too. Welcome, welcome. Red bell peppers. What do you think? Kind of like a meatloaf. It makes you think of meatloaf stuffed in a pepper with some feta cheese. You do my. You you do meal plan. You know that would be a great broadcast. I need to learn how to do that because, and I was even thinking like because even every Friday we look at all of this. And then just during the week, we just kind of like grab whatever, whatever. That would be a great broadcast. Would you teach us that, Texas Nobody? That would be really, I mean, like legit, I would totally be really excited to see that broadcast because I need to learn how to meal plan. Debbie, yeah, would you do it like, like a meatloaf in a, in a pepper? Okay, so I'm going to make a little grocery list. Your daughter does meal planning. She does, Debbie? I, I I try it sometimes, but then we never stick to it. That's my problem. So meal planning. But yeah, anyway, stuffed peppers. We're gonna do that. Okay, what else we got? We got some oh yeah. We got every week we get three lemons. We get do you you don't do that, Debbie? We make a meal plan and then I will we do something different. That one mish mist. Miss, miss, mist. Okay. So we get three lemons every week. Um we use them I use them mainly. Is it, I don't know if this is a good view or not. Um, we use them mainly to um, use them. Do, the right? do what? Do the you do the cooking. Great. Okay. What's what's what? Huh? What are we having? Pasta. Pasta. Hmm. Okay. So lemons. Use it a lot of times to squeeze on um, tomatoes or like raw vegetables. Normally, you only use it in a lot of dressings. Or if they're, um, these are organic, so we can use the, the rind or the zest. If you guys don't have organic, that's okay. You get what you can, but you want to scrub them really, really good, okay, before you use the zest. Um, the zest is so good, like a cream sauce. Um, I like it because, like, if you add citrus juice to a cream sauce or, like, to milk, sometimes a lot of it, you have to be very, very careful. I, and I don't know how to even explain it, but it'll curdle really fast or just separate. Like it separates the water from the from the milk, but I mean there's ways to do it, but it's very delicate. Or you just add the lemon zest. So if you're doing a cream sauce, um, that's how you can add a little zesty lemon flavor to your cream sauce without having the risk of it curdling. Okay, so yeah, that's that's something. Um, we use lemons. We get three a week, and I don't think we have any left. No, we I mean literally we have like no vegetables left from last week. Okay, we got uh, an avocado. Of course, it's as hard as a rock. It does have the little belly button on there. Um, normally, 
if you guys are in the grocery store, and I know some of you guys might have heard this story a thousand times, my apologies, but some of you might be new, um, is in the grocery store, you can see it's got a little belly, oh, I don't know, there's maybe another name for it, but I call it belly button. Um, and this can actually tell you a lot about your overcome. Okay, because okay, you're gonna squeeze it a little bit, not not too hard. You don't want to, you know, squish it, but you're gonna feel how soft does it feel. But then you can look in the little belly button. Okay, you lift it up. This one, this one's not gonna go because it's still, still, uh, this is hard as a rock. It's got to ripen. Um, but you lift, you just take this off, and you can look inside the little belly button hole. You want to call it that, and it, it's gonna show you a couple things. You can see the color. Um, like is it a bright, vibrant green, or is it gray, black, you know, like, no, nah, this is not a foolproof, because sometimes it's already started here turning black. I don't know, you guys, I'm sure you guys have done that. You cut open an avocado, it's got black spots, which is so frustrating. Hey, knowledge, what's up? What's up? We're just talking about the avocado belly button. Um, and so it can show you the color, but also can show you how soft it is, how ripe. So you put the, you put the little belly button cover back on. And then you can push it and see how, how much give or how soft it is. Um, that's going to show you, like, uh, how much, how, you know, it's going to, like, a look into the little avocado soul inside. Um, now, that's not foolproof, okay? But it's not like a melon where you can knock on it or smell it. It's not, you know, but that, that's the little indication you can kind of have a look and see how good your avocado is. All right, in the store. Now, by at my house, what happens all the time? I will buy one. Two days later, it's already. Whoosh, I see in you. Yes, I see in your soul and your avocado soul. Hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, this is how you can look into a little avocado soul right there in the little window in the belly button window. Okay. So, what else did we get? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have been eating these for breakfast every day. Um, it's my new favorite breakfast right now, and. Let me, okay, I need to know that I'm not the only one who does this. I know I ask you this all the time. But we got some apples. We get apples every week, about a kilo of them, I guess. I don't know. Um, I have been eating apples with peanut butter like crazy. That's been my breakfast almost every morning, an apple with peanut butter on it. And it's so good. So who's with me? Who's with me? Come on, let me, let me see who's in, my, who's in the apple peanut butter club. Or apples and cheese is also really good. I know we I know we talked about this last the last Farmer Box Friday. I know we did. Um, but these are really, really good. You eat them with almond butter. Ooh, Jane. Ooh, that sounds good. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to try that. You never tried it, Debbie? Try it. I trust me. It's so good. It's so good. And look at the color. Oh, these are like beautiful. This is like, this is like this is like Snow White, the witch bringing the Snow White kind of apple. This is so pretty. And it smells like an apple. Peanut butter is good too, though. Mmm, I hear you, Jane. I hear you. And it smells like an apple. Um, I know that sounds really strange, but sometimes in the stores, the apples are so perfect. And a sprinkle of salt? That sounds good. On the on the on the almond butter, Jane. I need details. We need more details here, or just on the apple, because I know salt on watermelon is really good. Ooh, oh, dang! We had a watermelon. It's oh my god! We cut open a watermelon downstairs, and like my daughter was like, "Tell the whole neighborhood, all the kids." Like I'm looking at the big. I was like, "Ooh, ooh I can try this." On the almond butter with the salt. Your husband was a big apple guy. Oh, Debbie, I bet he was a good man. I bet so. Anyone who can appreciate apples is good in my book. Um, almond butter with salt, okay. And they smell like apples. That's the thing. Sometimes in the stores, um, the apples are all, like, perfectly perfect. And um, I, I saw black pepper, and I think it's a cheese. Let me see, Chris. I think it's a cheese. I'm not going to look yet. But they don't. Yeah, they're like covering wax or something weird. This is tastes like an apple. It smells like an apple. Oh, black pepper on a cantaloupe is my secret. Now I never heard about that, Chris. I thought I thought you were gonna say camembert because you know cheese and apples go really good together too. You love apples. I do too. I do too. They're they're so un under undervalued. I think in the fruit 
family. Black pepper on cantaloupe. Okay, I need to I need to take notes. You guys always give me so many good ideas, and I never write it down. Hold, I'm serious. Legit. Oh, you're gonna know. Hold on. You're gonna get a piece of paper. I gotta try that. Okay, good. All right, let me see. Now I'm gonna find paper. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we have salt on the almond butter. Salt on the almond butter. Hold on. Salt, almond butter, and pepper. Black pepper? Black pepper on cantaloupe. Okay, black pepper. Cantaloupe. All right. I'm gonna try. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. You like salty stuff? Oh, Jane, I do too. That that that's my thing. That's I like. I could. I mean, I live. I moved to Switzerland because of cheese. Let's just be honest. Um, of course, I love my my husband. Um, but I moved to cheese. Let me just say. Um. Speaking of cantaloupe, try this. I don't know if you guys can get, and this is a little bit fancy. We're getting fancy here, but I, you know, this is our cantaloupe fantasy, our fruit food fantasy. Whenever you can get whatever you want. Do you guys know prosciutto? Pros prosciutto, I think you call it. Prosciutto is like a thinly sliced Italian cured ham. Um, it's so good. Wrap that around your cantaloupe. Oh, it's so amazing. It's so good. Oranges and olive oil. <gasps> Ooh, oranges and olive oil and black pepper. Whoa. Oh, read my last comment. Okay, is this the oranges and olive oil? Okay, hold on. Almond butter. I like salty. Sprinkle of salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Oranges and olive oil. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. Oranges. I know. I know, I mean, we use oranges in salads sometimes. Oranges, but oranges and olive oil. You know what my, oh my God, you know what I've been eating too? Um, it's like a, um, for breakfast, it's like a slice of bread. I meant like this kind of like, like thick bread, you know, with a little bit of olive oil instead of butter. I put a little, like one little teaspoon of olive oil and a slice, a thin slice of apple or pear. It's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay. Is that, did, did, did I get your, did, did I get it? Your, um, okay. Your dad used to make oranges and olive oil, oranges, olive oil, and black pepper. Oh, yum. That sounds, that sounds gorgeous. That sounds gorgeous. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did he use, he was an apple guy, huh, Debbie? No. I know, I'm sure I'm, my, my, my condolences, my condolences. I know it's been a while, but still, I want to say it again. Yes, prosciutto and melon. Oh, Jane. Yeah, I, I have a feeling like like we need to have dinner. We need to have a glass of like Pinot Grigio and like, oh, mmm, 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 mmm. Your dad was an Italian chef. Ah. Yum, 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 yum. I just adore, you know, no matter where I go, I always travel with my stomach. I mean, I've always been that way. And Italy has been one of my well I have a good food everywhere. I've been really lucky, but um I love Italian food. They they what I love about Italian food and, and, and French cooking and like a lot of like different um different uh, like especially Italian. They focus on the ingredient like just like a little little bit of good olive oil on a little bit of nice sea salt and that's it. That's and call it a day. A little bit of black pepper, a little bit of citrus. That's what I love about Italian cooking is it's really basic. I mean, really stamp, you know, like just focus on the ingredient. That's what I really love. So, mmm. Ah, oh, you guys are talking my love language. Okay, so another broccoli, another rogue broccoli. Throw it in soup, stews. Um, that's what we did today. Uh, steam it. I love this also with like a, just a little bit of steam it with a little bit of lemon and salt and maybe a touch of olive oil, but didn't really even need it. So, mmm, yum, yum, yum. My daughter, I'm so proud. She was so hungry. She's four, four and a half. She actually, today, we were so hungry when we got home. I had big chunks, like whole things of broccoli, like the whole, um, what do you call it, florette. She was like, <sighs> eating the whole thing. I was like, wow, okay. She eats vegetables pretty good, but sometimes she doesn't. Okay, I gotta go because my the kids 
the kids can be home soon. Um, of course, we got some carrots. I've been I have been shredding these on the box grater in all of our salads lately. Um, we had roasted potatoes yesterday. I just chunked up some onions, chunked up some carrots, and roasted them with our potatoes, and they were really good. So I like I like roasting vegetables a lot. Um, that's me. Um, we get a kilo of those a week, although we're, I already grabbed some for our stew today, so we're kind of short on that. Um, we have some more apples. One more thing back to the apples. This is another great breakfast. I need to remember this for tomorrow. I'm going to make this tomorrow. So you core the apple, and um, I made like a mixture. We get like here this ground almonds or ground... Um, uh, chest, no, 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 not not chestnuts, hazelnuts. You got, we can we we can buy it. Let me if I can actually show you. You guys, you guys want to see? Let me show you. In here, I might have to get some on the list. Nope. Hold on. Let me check because I know you. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's some ground almonds. Um, I really like these. In Swiss, in Swiss cooking, they use this a lot in tarts. They will like mix this, like this, mix this in the in the tart custard. Roasted veggies always taste great. Grilled veggies too. Mm, knowledge, yes. Oh, and then throw some grilled veggies, and then throw some some lemon on it. Yum. Yeah, you know, roasting them actually brings out the, the sugar. It um, makes them sweeter. Like carrots, for example, taste really sweet when they're roasted. But um, okay, so you core the apple. And then you make a little mixture of like um, almonds, ground almonds or ground hazelnuts or whatever, walnuts, chopped up, you know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, and then you mix it with a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil or butter, a little bit of brown sugar, um, cinnamon. Yeah. And then you stuff it in the hole that you poured out from the apple and then you bake it. Then you top it when it when it comes out. I don't know. Don't ask me about temperature because I forget. I think about 180 Celsius, maybe. You know about 180 Celsius. Bake them. Honey, yeah. You want to add honey too instead of brown sugar or honey, and you mix it all up and you stuff it in there. And then when they're, when they're baked and they come out, then you top it with um, plain yogurt or Greek yogurt. Oh, it's so, and then maybe a little drizzle of honey. Damn, it is good. I'm telling you, apples are freaking amazing fruits, really. Uh, core with cinnamon and brown sugar and top with nuts and roast. Girl, you, we're like, we're, you're, I hear you. I hear you. You're talking, you're, yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly, right? That's really cool. An Italian chef. Hello, by the way. Hey, yes, I know her mom's an Italian chef or her dad was an Italian chef. Sorry. Or vanilla ice cream. Yeah. But, you know, this is our food fantasy. So I think if, you know, if you want to dream about vanilla ice cream, go for it. Because there's no shame in a fantasy, right? So if you want to top it with vanilla ice cream, I would be right there with you. Yeah. Yum. Apples are freaking good. I don't care what people say. They're also a little. Now, we always get a kilo of potatoes every week. Um. Yeah, what can I say? Uh, we've been getting a lot of, um, what is that? Avanti. These are like uh, fru, fru cartofon, um, fru cartofon. Spring potatoes, early potatoes, young potatoes. Um, and honestly, I like, I just roast them most of the time. Hold on, I'm trying to, I feel like I'm looking down there. I, I'm on, I've got you on, um, what's it called? Landscape. So roast them most of the time. Now here's a little tip. If you want to make a vegetable soup, so we've got our carrots, we've got our broccoli, we've got some onions down there and some garlic, um, or whatever peppers, whatever vegetables you have, and you want to make a creamy soup, add a small potato. Oh, okay, let's say small. Let's say add a medium potato, like this size. This is about four fingers wide, four or five fingers wide. Add a potato to it. And the starch in that is going to make it, um, whenever you blend it up and you mix it up, it's going to make it creamy instead of using cream. Just a little tip. Now use, if you can use the, 
because these these are like I, I don't I don't know what you guys call them in the states, but here these are like the hard potatoes. Um, they're not like the soft potatoes. How do you say? Like you you know you got potatoes for making French fries and roast potatoes, and then you have you have potatoes for making like um, potato soup or mashed potatoes. If you have it, use a mashed potato potato. But these are roasting potatoes. This is all we've been getting the last few weeks because it's like full in season. So Yukon, maybe. I don't remember. You know, I'm American, honestly, but I've been here for 18 years. And whenever, whenever, I, when I lived in the U.S., I didn't, I didn't pay any attention to what a potato was called. A potato was a potato. So I honestly didn't um, pay any attention. A Yukon is a Yukon for potato soup and mashed potatoes or russet. Yeah, Yukon or russet. I don't know which one. Okay, I know the word. I've heard it before. Yukon gold, I remember. Or russet, but I don't remember. I think a russet is okay. Wait, okay. Tell me, I'm not gonna look. I think a russet potato is the ones for soup and mashed potatoes. Is that right? Am I right? Or baked potatoes? I don't remember. Anyway, these are the ones that are not for baked for for um. These are like solid. Like whenever you cook them, if you steam them, you cut them open, they're solid. These would be good for potato salad because they don't break up. Because you want a good, hard, firm potato salad, potato for your potato salad. You don't want to use like the soft, um, starchy ones. I don't remember which ones there was they are, but this would be good for potato salad. Actually, it might be a good idea. We'll be making. I think we might see some potato salad in our future. You use russet for baked potato soup. Okay, so russet. Yeah, I think the russets have darker skin too, don't they? They're a little bit darker russet. For some reason, I'm thinking they're like. They're like a darker potato. I don't remember, but I should know since I used to work in produce for years. Really? Oh, that's fun. Did you like it? I think that'd be fun. I would. I would enjoy that. You've forgotten yourself. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of technical things. Yes. Okay. So I think the russets. The russets were like for the baked potatoes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna ask you next week. I'm gonna ask you again because I will forget. But russet. Potato soup, Yukon, fresh ones, or fru, fru, yeah. Okay, it's just the ones, this one I have. Okay, so we roast them most of the time. That's usually what happens. Um, yeah, that's just how we use them. Okay, we're almost done. That was just a few more things and we're done. Okay, we have, oh, they didn't give us many onions. Okay, we get a kilo. That's, they got these three. Oh, no, that's what I took out onions this morning. Never mind. I was like, that's all they gave us, but I took out onions this morning. So we got three onions. Well, actually, I think we got about six onions. Um, we're going to need to buy more onions. I think. How many onions did they send us? I don't remember if I, I, don't remember if I got onions. Like, not, not that you guys even care. See, I'm sorry. I'm having this discussion with myself. Uh, half a kilo. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just half a kilo of onions. We need to maybe up that for next week. Okay, and we got some fresh garlic. Yes, I loved working produce. It was a really great workout. I miss it. Sometimes. I bet you did. I bet you do. I mean, I bet that was a good workout. I can imagine. It's not. Okay, I worked once, a friend of mine here in Switzerland, we went to um, Tessin. And Tessin, the area of Tessin, is like the Swiss Italian area. It's the Italian part of Switzerland because you know Switzerland we're on the border of France Germany and Italy and so we have you know when you get close to the Italian border you're you're in the Italian part of Switzerland or the French border you're in the French part of Switzerland or the German you know so and so on so we were a friend of mine makes wine he's a winemaker and his vineyard is in Tessin because it's gorgeous sun perfect um, soil for Merlot, Merlot wine is very famous in Tessie. When you come to Switzerland, and you, you should come, okay, um, you don't know, or like if you're not sure what to order, the Merlot, Tessine Merlot is famous. It's just, it's so good. Um, and anyway, so we, I worked for him. He was, he invited us, like me and some friends, to go pick grapes for him. And then he, he paid us in wine and food for the weekend. And, you know, it was, it was, so, it was gorgeous. Um, but it was so hard. It was such hard work. So I say respect, respect and shout out and appreciate the people who pick and harvest your fruits and vegetables. 
That is such hard work. It is, I mean, we did it for a weekend, like, you know, because he was like, hey, I need some help. You, know, you guys, you know, I'll, I'll cook for you. And he, and he gave us, like, everybody got, you know, like a, a case of wine. It was a lot of work. So I say respect, respect. When I finally quit, they hired two people to replace me. See, you need two people to replace you. They counted me as two people. Did they pay you for two people? They should have paid you for two people. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is fresh garlic. Fresh. This is fresh garlic. So now is in, garlic is in season now. So um, we're going to have a lot of fresh garlic. It's okay. I actually forgot I was following. Oh, I'm sorry. That was not for me. Okay. Yeah, so this is fresh garlic. Have you never seen fresh garlic? Let me just check. I think this is from Switzerland or Italy. Let me see. Uh, Spain. Okay, it's from Spain. That is respect. Yeah, truly, though. Truly. It's a lot of work to pick and harvest your, your fruits and vegetables. So respect and thank you and your know, gratitude to everybody who does that because we did it for a weekend and it was it was so hard. Okay, this is fresh garlic. Um, now, fresh garlic is very similar, of course, to regular garlic. Um, hey, getting two paychecks would have been really nice. Yeah, truly. Okay, so you see it's got this nice, I, I just think the coloring is so pretty. It's like nice purple color. And I am a non-fluencer, so I don't know if this is working, but it's a really nice, pretty color. And it, you can see the stem is soft and flexible. Smells like garlic, of course. I'm going to cut this off and put this in the freezer with my scraps because I'm going to use this for my next broth that I make. I make like a veggie broth or a chicken broth or whatever. I'm going to keep this. Um, in fact, I can do that right now. So I don't forget. Okay, and then you guys can also see on the see it's on the inside. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like um it smells like garlic and chilies. Hey, getting two page. Oh sorry, I already read that one. Okay, and you can see see it's really uh, let me see if it's getting the corn the camera. You can see the juice. That's fresh. Can you see that? It's got fresh Garlic juice. I don't know if you guys can see that. How good can you see? Probably not. Yeah, really nice. And then when you peel it, I can show you. See the skin? I'm going to come up to you guys so you can see. This is cool. Okay, so I need my knife here. Because it's a very soft, thick skin. But it's soft. It's not papery like normal, huh? See? And it's very soft and it's it's juicy. A juicy. It's like yeah. And you see how thick that is. It's a very thick skin. There, there is the garlic bud. You see that? Now you know what? Because you know we are this is our food fantasy. You want to know what would be fabulous. Take this. Maybe cover a little bit of olive oil and roast it in the oven. I'm going to have to do that. I think we might have to do that. Should we do that? I don't think I've seen garlic like this. I should start going to farmer's markets. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can get this in the farmer's market, but it's, it's in season now. You probably can go. You should go to farmer's markets anyway. Oh, I mean, I, I love farmer's markets. That's one thing I kind of miss because we get, we get our delivery every week. I don't go to the farmer's market very often, but that is a fresh garlic bud. Look, look at that. That is fresh. And then this one, I can show you was from last, from two weeks ago. This is all that's left. Now it's like the dried one that you know, right? See the paper? It's all papery now. This was from two weeks ago. So the last one we got was fresh, too. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do it quick. So we're going to do something real quick, guys. We're going to roast this, baby. And then I'm going to post on Twitter. And I'm not, I'm not doing that as clickbait to make you guys go to my Twitter. And my Twitter but I'm not going to be able to broadcast this later. So I will show you. I don't even know if you even need olive oil. I'm not even sure. But I'm going to put this right on top of my vegetables. And I 
I'm going to roast this baby. So I'm going to put it with the root side down. Okay, I just need to make sure that I'm not getting a phone call from my neighbor because my daughter is... Nope, nope, nope. Okay, good. Okay, good. I had to be sure that, that uh, she wasn't I'm not calling. Okay, so I've got some olive oil. I'm going to pour just a little drizzle. And this this bad boy is going in the oven. We're going to do that right now. And then I will post on Twitter later. Okay, I have the oven. I'm going to put it on. I, I will show you that my oven is so dirty. 200, 190. We're going to put on 180. 180 Celsius. All right. I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. I'm very high. There. Okay. Let me move you guys up. Sorry. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Put my hand in your face again. So that's fresh garlic. So we're going to roast it. Then when it's roasted, you just squish it out of the skin and it comes up this nice, soft, roasted. Oh, you don't have to use, you don't have to use fresh garlic. You can use regular garlic. Okay. You can use regular garlic. I don't think you need to, with regular garlic, I don't think you need to use, um, like, you know, when I say regular garlic, like the bulb that you get in the store, I don't think you even need to use olive oil. I don't know, because I've never, I've only got, I've only, what I have done is I've taken the whole bud. Where's my bud? Where's my garlic bud? So what I have done is just taken the whole bud. In the paper, it has to be in the paper. That's important. In the, in the, you know, in the garlic paper, you don't peel it. You just put it in the oven. I put that like when I roast chicken or something like that. I will throw it in, and then after, all you do is squeeze it, squeeze the paper part, and this nice soft roasted garlic comes out. Spread that on toast. Holy jollies, it's good. It's good. That's all you need in life, really. Um. Okay, so we continue. We're almost done. So that's three. These are little little ones. Here, those are cutie cuties. So look at that purple color, though. It's so pretty. It's so nice. Okay, and we got six eggs. This is it. We get six eggs a week. A lot of times, depending on the week, um, I will buy more eggs. It depends on the week. Some some weeks we only use some. Sometimes we only use six eggs. That's no problem. Um, but eggs are great for a quick dinner. Um, I was just reading something with a recipe with eggs. I was like, oh, I could do that. But now I forgot. Completely forgot. I put mine in foil. Oh, oh okay, here we go. I put mine in tin foil, drizzle a little olive oil, and roast it. Ah, okay. You know what? 400, I think I need to turn it up. I think I need to, I've got 180 Celsius. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm sorry. I've only been here 18 years. I still cannot convert. I have no idea. I can, I can check. You know, you know who can tell us, though? You know what I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm going to tell you is, hold on, I'm going to turn it up to 210, 220. You know who's going to tell us, then? Miss Martha Stewart. Okay, I've had this book so long. Look at this. This this book is like freaking. This has been used. This is my first real cookbook. Um, and at the very back, she has her her converter list. Celsius to. So yeah, about four hundred. Yeah, exactly. That's what Martha says to. She says two hundred. Okay. I will update you guys on that. I'll let you guys know. I'll post it on Twitter. It's going to be good. That might be what he's making. What did he say he's making? Pasta. He's making pasta today. Okay. So that would be good. He might work with pasta. So anyway, guys, these are our veggies for the week. Let me show you here. This is what we're looking at. Um, we got lots of good staples that we can be using this week and um yeah actually this week this week do you guys want to know do you guys want to know something we're doing this week actually oh wait i said this week it's friday next week next week we're getting married 
Actually, we have been, I always call him my husband. Now, don't tell anybody. This is a secret. I'm just kidding. It's not a secret. We're actually getting married next week. We've been together for a thousand years. Um, and we are, my mom says, but you're always married to me. We're actually getting officially married next week in the courthouse, in like a little tiny room. Yay! I know! Woo! Um, but the reason I'm sharing this is because next week we're cooking a lot. Um, we're not having a big party, of course. We're going to do something in a couple of years whenever I think comes on. We're doing it really for like legal paperwork reasons. Um, it's just easier tax wise. And we live together. We've been here, we've been good for a thousand years. And yeah, we're getting married next week. So that's why he's getting the pork shoulder. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of cooking next week, though. So um, we're probably going to be filling in a lot of these things. So we're having, um, we are having pork sliders. We're just having a little tiny, little gathering like the godparents of our godparents are coming of our daughter and his parents mom i'm sorry you're not gonna be here i love you say everyone say hi to my mom um but we will have a party when we come home all right we've already 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 decided that so anyway we're gonna be cooking a lot so next week we're having um pulled pork we're making slider he's making sliders and chips, and he's making a coleslaw. Um, yeah, so that's the big news. That's the news. Um, we're actually officially going to get married. So it's going to be an official thing. Hey, yeah, Kristen. Kristen from Texas. Nobody says, hi, Kristen's mom. My mom says, hi. <laughs> I'm sure. She's watching on a different on a different thing. She can't comment. So, But she always watches the replay. Um, sounds fat. It's going to be really simple. It's going to be outside. We're going to be outside. Um, I, I hate that we have to always justify. I really like, like, yeah, but I, I'm not getting political at all. But it's so weird. Like after a year, you know, you have to always justify. Like you, like it's just automatic. Like, oh yeah, but we're gonna be outside. Or oh, yeah. we're gonna be outside. There's gonna be like not many people. And um, actually, in the courthouse, it's only like our witness is allowed, and that's it. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna get married. We're gonna be official. So I keep. I, I know you're like, wait, you've been seeing your husband. Yes, we have been living together for a thousand years. So it sounds fat. Thank you. It's gonna be really fun. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. We're gonna have some some champagne and chips and sliders and coleslaw and uh, what else we're we gonna have? Uh, watermelon cake, ice cream. Or yeah, well, okay. I got some like little kid ice creams for the kids. Um, because they might not like cake. And uh, um, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna have, oh, my friend's bringing some Italian or some Spanish. Um, it's like a, she's making this citrus, like like lemon syrup that you mix either with Prosecco or with mineral water. And it's should be really good. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's something that's happening in my life. And I wanted to share that with you. So yeah, we're doing it. My mom's like, it's about time. Pork sliders with slaw is a must. Yeah. Menu sounds great. Thanks, Kristen. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. And we're doing it simple. So, of course, I say that. And then it's going to be, like, <laughs> stressful. But I'm not, I don't I don't actually cook anything. That was weird. I don't cook anything. So, I'm going to enjoy that. All right, guys. I think I'm going to throw you up. My daughter should be home soon. I'm kind of... I'm not getting worried. I'm not worried. I know she's in good hands, but it's like weird. It's like I'm the only one in the house. It's so weird. It's so rare. So it's Friday. And what do you, where we are, what are we doing this weekend? And then I'm going to close up here. Um, don't stress. Enjoy your day. I will. I will both. I will do both. Um, I mean, we're doing it really simple. Like, I mean, this is, uh, we're not, yeah, no, but we're still going to celebrate. We're still going to celebrate. But we are, it's this really simple. That's the plan anyway. But you know, it's probably going to get stressful anyway. Then we have the thing. Here's, here's Switzerland. Here's what it looks like getting married in Switzerland. So we're going to the courthouse. And then um, my, the godmothers, because we have several godmothers coming. My daughter has three, actually. Um, they were like, okay, well, well, we decided we wanted that she could, you know, throw flowers. We're going to walk you know, to a fountain and have a little aperitif, right? Like a little glass of champagne after the wedding. And so we were like, okay, let's do that. And then 
like legally, like my, my friend comes like, actually you have to check because, um, if you do that, like when you get married, if you throw rice, although you should never throw rice, okay, because the, the pigeons eat it and it swells up in their bellies and their bellies explode. It's a horrible thing. Don't do it. But if you throw anything like at a wedding here, you have to pay the city to clean it up, which I thought was like, oh my God, like, oh, it's another thing to stress with. She's like, well, okay, if you do that, um, we can throw rose petals, but then you have to pay the city to clean it up after you, right? Which I, I can understand that. I get that, but it's just like, like in the U.S., you would never have that problem, right? Or would you? Do you guys have to do that? I, mean, I don't know. I, I have zero experience in that department. Um, so we're not. Hey, hey, Alexis, bird seed. That's a good idea. I, Alexis, hi, thanks for the idea. That's a great idea. Bird seed. That's a good idea. I don't know if that's. I, I'm going to call on Monday. I have to call the courthouse and see. Um, yeah, you guys don't have that problem there, right? Um, yeah, because we have a little basket, you know, and she's going to throw rose petals and stuff. But, yeah, apparently they have to pay the city to clean it up. But bird seed, although feeding the pigeons here is illegal. So you can't actually throw breadcrumbs or bird seed. That's actually illegal. So I don't think that's already already out. But that's a great idea. I know. That's what people throw, right? Bird seed. Okay. Um, that's illegal here because they don't want, at least in the city, because they're like birds are pests here so um although i don't think they're pests i i love birds but anyway yeah so we're gonna figure out that i don't know what we're gonna do bubbles now that's a good idea blow bubbles that's a great idea that's a perfect idea okay i gotta get my notebook in. okay guys i don't know what if you caught this or everyone joining I've, I've got like already so many inspirational ideas thank you you guys are really truly honestly great blow bubbles that's a great idea and I even saw in the store a little package of like all these little tiny bubble things. Bubbles. Good idea. Yeah, because I want to do something. I got my daughter this little, um, okay, I'm going to show you just because my mom's watching. Can I show you this? Where is it? Where is it? Let me think. Where is it? This is what we're going to do. Let me show you. This is pretty cool. Let me get my bag. Hold on. I want to show you because my mom's watching the TV. She wants to see this. Although, you know, I'm totally going to be calling your mom after. I think it's in here. This is what we got. Because it's like COVID. My mom's not going to be here. Hey, mom. Alexis. Or mom, Alexis says hi. By the way, Alexis, you are um, my daughter's favorite um, broadcaster, by the way. Um, we you we watch your videos for our quiet time, but look at this! Look at this! Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if it comes out of the box or not, so I'm not going to open it. But look. So when they say my my husband or my partner is like, they're not going to ask you. They're not going to tell us to kiss or put on rings, which is so weird. Um, I don't know how it's going to go because I don't really don't know, but. We're going to do it. We're going to kiss. You know, we're going to put on our rings. And then when we do that, um, our daughter is going to be like this. Isn't that sweet? Oh, let me turn around to kiss it. Isn't that sweet? And then she can play this while we're walking. We're gonna do like a little mini parade because no one's allowed. Like there's no there's no parents there, there's no family there, there's just our two witnesses and our daughter. And she's gonna be well, we're gonna walk from the courthouse to the fountain to have we're gonna have like a little basket with a bottle of champagne. She's gonna play this on our little parade. Isn't that cute? Mom, what do you think? My mom's watching, so I know she's crying right now because not cute. Okay, am I the only one who's like thinks that's just the sweetest thing? So that's what we're gonna do. That's the one thing. That's a surprise. My husband doesn't know about it, so don't tell him. All right, or my 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 fiance. <laughs> he he laughs when I call him. That. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing. That's our big news next week. 
I will be here on Friday next week. We're going to do Farmer Bucks Friday like normal. You guys, a really quick plug. You guys are doing grill and chill, right, Alexis? Do you want to let us know really quick? Um, there's a grill and chill this weekend. I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not taking part. I might come in for a chill, though, and, like, drink a glass of wine and chill. Um, thank you very much, Kristen. Thank you so much. Congrats again. Thank you. I don't know if I'm going to be coming. I, I, I might try to come in. I don't know if anyone wants me to come in on their broadcast and drink a glass of wine. Is that the chill part? And read comments for you. But my mother-in-law is going to be here on the weekend. Grill and chill haps. Food Saturday tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so Alexis, I assume you have the plan, the schedule on your timeline, right? So everyone, be sure to check that out. It's me grilling and chilling. Sounds so much fun. I love grilling. Um, and any of you guys watching the replay and Alexis too, why don't you guys put in like what time you guys are going to be on? And I don't know if you guys want to tell us what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be grilling, or if it's a secret, you know, whatever you want to do. But be sure you link in the comments, like, hey, um, put your in your profile. Yeah, put in your profile. You can also put it here if you guys want to comment, like, hey, look, or, or I don't know, I don't know how you put a hashtag or an emoji of what you're going to be grilling. Who's doing it? Haven't heard much on it. You have it. Okay, so Alexis is on 5 p.m. Eastern time. Go on to her timeline, Kristen. Um, everybody, let's see. Um, who else is doing it? Aiden, Anne, oh, so Aiden in Leeds, Anne in Denmark, um, Alexis in Southeast Coastal Georgia, um, Bronx Viking. You guys know Bronx Viking in the Bronx. He's doing it. Um, Gemma, is Gemma doing it too? You haven't put it there yet. Okay, sorry, no pressure. Go to Aiden. Go to, I think Aiden has it maybe as well. Grilling is awesome. I know it's a great. Oh, it's, it's, it's like the perfect weather for it, too. So um, grilling and chilling. So I think you can also like drink a glass of wine. On the balcony. Can you is, is that considered Alexis? Is that allowed? My mother in law's going to be here tomorrow at some point, And I don't know what time she's leaving. So it's hard to say. Oh. OK, I got to go. My neighbors are calling me. Bye, guys. Jeff's Journey. Sarah Sparkles. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's doing it. Oh, uh, Jay. Jay's doing it, too. I got to go. My neighbor's calling me. My daughter. I hope everything's all right. Okay. Everything's fine. They're probably probably on their way home. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow in the replays. And have good luck. Have fun. Take care of each other. Be nice. Be kind. Bye.